I with the sound of pain. Alive with the sounds of pain, Pecco. Why? Sure, let's out myself. Right away. I don't care. Oh. Get over to the game itself really quick. Do this as a, uh, as the slow bleed in, so to say. We haven't done any any of the adventure part of Ring Fit in several weeks. No, keep it like this. Have you not noticed I've done daily I've done daily stuff? Have you not noticed I've done keep my daily workouts straight. at least for like two weeks now? Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. This stretch targets the area between the thighs and glutes. Last time. Yes, just oh. like that. So the fact that I haven't done the adventure part is going to be stretch. rather fun. Which bring is why I am putting myself toward the ring on. on. Breathe out as you raise which your is why I ha I'm going to have myself Last on time. a timer. All right. So I don't so Good. I don't die halfway through Next this. It's the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and Oop, drop as I hips. almost fall over. Don't let your knees move too far forward. Make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead of you. Let's do one more of each. Yes, looking great. There we go. Finally, spread your feet. <sighs> Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. As you exhale, begin to lean. Let's you know, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've streamed this and done the adventure Great part of this. Job. I don't even remember what, we, what I left you guys off on or what we left off on. At all. <sighs> oh, a brand new world. Gotcha! It's opposite, opposite, op a popsicle day. Child, I will end you with the swiftest of kicks to your temple. Okay, I've got double. I gotta look at what I use a lot of. Double money. Don't, do I make? Can I make double? Okay, let me see if I can make anything. I uh, got what I need for that. I'm mainly looking to see if I can do. No, I can do double money some more. But not double experience stuff. I only have one double experience. Darn you, carrots, and your scarcity. That is my war cry. Hear me yell. Okay. So it took a few minutes to get up to this point, but. Now that we're here, that two and a half, uh, that two and a half hour timer starts now. So I can see, I can see down here a time start. So I know what to, what I'm working with. All right, let's move. Well, I'm not jumping, thank you. Oops, not this. Uh, I meant to consume double thing smoothie. Glad to know that the. Uh, that the game is still rather picky. Oh yeah, Harley was flying. 
to the point where I missed something. Okay. All right, Let's we started getting into... We're actually starting to get into difficult territory, so to say. Adjustment. Down we go. You know, I'm glad through this at me. So I can kind of approach this at a uh, leisurely pace, so to say. I should have probably looked at that before I started streaming, but oh well. I just looked around the room and I'm just like, huh. Is there anything that's... I haven't done a ring fit stream. Have, in my laziness, have I done anything that's, uh... Leaves any incriminating evidence around me? And thankfully, I haven't left any incriminating evidence around me. What that exactly means is up to your interpretation. about to talk some mad trash just a sec just a second ago it's like oh wow this is just ZVM armor but it's like it's like dude you're already breathing a little hard from your lack of time playing the game and you're on your first reps back into the game of an easy exercise don't get too full of yourself Let's see. Well, I'm gonna make the mistake of doing this just so I can get my heart rate up right off the gate. <coughs> also do that color wheel thing. Just a couple to get me started. Which, something I do want to say really quick before I get too much further into this and I forget. Uh, he's, what is it? Oh, I missed the grandma. Oh, well. The experience isn't really what I'm after right now. As odd as it sounds to say. Um, but yeah, I will say... Because I did some of this adventure without you guys. Granted, I've been playing Ring Fit Adventure on stream. I have been playing Ring Fit Adventure on stream for... Oh God, how long is it now? Probably over a year. But those of you that haven't been watching these Ring Fit streams from the very beginning, Oh, Jesus. Oh, for those of you that have not watched the uh, Ring Fit streams from the very beginning and haven't seen the whole adventure, I will shout out, I will give a shout out to uh, Odin Spec really quick. Because he's actually doing something that I'm currently a little too shy to even attempt. Which he's doing a let's play of this game. 
Of course, not in the difficulty level. I'm. Okay, let's go. That sounds rude. Yes. He's doing it on a lower difficulty, kind of slow, slowly uh, building himself back up after he he did admit in the playthrough that he's uh, due to due to his last few months of personal activities, he hasn't had a he hasn't played the game a lot. But I'm pretty sure he said he's going to slowly. Uh, Work his way back up to quote unquote higher difficulty levels. Well done. Perfect. So, yeah. Odin Spack 33 on YouTube. I don't know if he name changed, it's just Odin Spack now. But doing a let's play of this, if that's if a properly structured let's play is more your game for this game. Me, I only play it on stream. And I and even and I do on the I do daily reps during the weekends. But those daily reps on the weekends are not part of the adventure mode. During the week I or during the weekend I do an adventure a uh, th uh, three separate sets of workouts. And none of them involve running. To which the running part. I do in that little orange elliptical you can barely see in the camera right now amongst all the mess back there. And I do like an hour and a half run on top of that, on, on that after I do my three different sets of workouts. But I too need to get back on my uh, training because Due to my lax nature of not playing this game for about a month and a half while various events happened in my life, I it's probably not noticeable, but I know I've put on a few pounds due to lack of exercise and me going back into lazy behaviors. My body's like, oh, you're going back to the lifestyle you had three years ago when you were a piece of crap? Oh boy, let's consume every chip and sweet you, you've been missing out on over the last three years. Needless to say, I've been eating a lot of junk food. Let's do this, hopefully it gets rid of everything else. Granted, it's not as much junk food as it was three years ago. Mainly meaning, I'm not eating as much chips or sweets as I was, and I'm not compounding that with soda to boot. So it's not as bad as I used to be, but even I recognize that I've fallen off the train, so to say, or fallen off the wagon. And I need, kind of need to get, kick myself back in the gear. <clears throat> so I'm kind of going miniature diet on myself for the month of December. I know, fantastic month to do, pick to do it, right? For the month of December, I'm kind of going on a mini diet of sorts. I'm not going to buy any sweets for myself. But if it's offered to me, I'm not going to say no. And I'm also not going to do what I did two, three years ago and basically starve myself for <laughs> several months on end. I'm just going to try and watch what I'm eating more and make better decisions with the foods I'm putting together.
work. It was only three more reps, so I figured I'd just finish it out. But the question I hear one person asking <laughs> out of the several hundred that probably watch, <laughs> oh boy, talk about inflating my ego, is why are you starting this stream so early? Don't you normally start streams at like seven your time? Yes. Yes, I do. Turn your exercise but into experience points with a I decided, pose. change of pace this time, that I would start streaming as early as possible. That I would start the stream as early as possible this uh, today, and do all my other stuff after the stream is over. And that stuff that I'm mentioning being mainly. There it goes. That stuff mainly being having dinner. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone and it just turned on. The wireless charging must have paused for a minute. Perfect. That's about where I want to be. Um, but yeah, you know, having dinner. I've, I ate something light beforehand just so I wouldn't run out of energy. But yeah, eating dinner, doing my Japanese lesson. And secretly, and secretly I'm hoping I can build up the gusto or build up the drive to, I'm sorry, build up the drive to do some more recording this evening and try and get a side project done before I hit this weekend and I start going to full on panic mode because I haven't even started my top 10 video for the year. Oops. All right, honey. Well, I'm pretty sure the only reason the attack is going down is because of a uh, bonus I have going on. So let me buy the set bonus for this first. Let me buy the set bonus and then we're gonna not buy anything we're not going to buy anything that in, that gives us bonus damage to specific stats. Hello, Rockhawk. Yeah, we're not going to buy anything that gives us bonuses to... Uh, what you call them? No bonuses to... Oh, shoot. They didn't want to do that. I'm going to put the pants back on. Yeah, I'm not going to buy... I forgot this thing. This set has earrings. Anyway, to finish my thought, I'm not buying anything that makes me, uh, that basically negates the bonus of, how should we get enough? And then banana. I don't want it, I don't want the victor handed to me, sorry. I don't want the, the advantage uh, handed to me for... Equipping something that makes my blue attack skills do more damage. I want something that's inconsequential, like increasing the vacuum range. <sighs> Alright. That's right. Oh no! Oh, every single crate. Well, let's hope it, I don't have to do high uh, high knee raises, and the game will be like, duh, I'm gonna aim this way, but I'm aiming this way, but you're aiming that way. Oh wait, we can still do this. But anyway, how? Are, sorry, I got on a tangent, but how are you doing, Rockhawk? How is your Eve faring? Oop, missed those. You got it. Just 
like how I'm keeping up a full sprint that whole time. MTG. Oh. Yo, Magic. Magic the Gathering. You know, the one card game that hasn't had a... That hasn't, that has, hasn't banned almost every card it's set. Either to try and cycle out stuff or... To, to get rid of a card that's too powerful. Listen, we don't talk about Black Lotus. You know, I haven't picked up any of the I haven't picked up any sets of Magic the Gathering or even been invested in that series. So that card series since I'm gonna say 2012. That sounds about right. 2012? When I what is it? When I built uh, several when I built a theme set or a couple theme decks. An EDH deck and a what is it? I have two 60 card decks and an EDH deck. I think no wait. No, I have two EDH decks and two 60 card sets. I forgot. Um my EDH deck one of my EDH decks is revolves around Hydras, which is not my it's not my good EDH deck. My other EDH deck revolves around uh, Una, the Blackwing. I think that's her I think that's the name of the card. So a red green EDH and a blue black EDH. The whole point of the blue black EDH is to without using paint or servant, because that cheats in that deck, is to basically say is to basically go is to basically get to a point where I can go, okay. You player discard uh, what is it? I've heard of Sapperlings before, oddly enough. Sorry, I'm trying to think of this. Um, but it's like, Uno's is pay X and blue or black mana. And, and or pay X and one blue or black mana. Uh, 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 shorthanding it. Mill someone's deck for X, where, and then they tell you, and then you, well, you name a color, and then you mill that person's deck for X, and then however many of the color you called it turns up in, in those cards that they've milled, you get that many 1-1 one, one black, blue, flying fairy tokens. Regardless of the outcome, those cards that were taken off their deck are now banished, or whatever that, that uh, Cannot be touched at all. Set is the A wall corner. We'll say <laughs> exiled. Yeah, it it puts those cards in the exiled pile, and then the whole thing is basically to turn creatures certain colors and then lock down the entire board based on what color they are as well. But other than that, my two e my two sixty card decks I like are a green and a tricolor mer took or mer deck. Where the whole point of the mer deck is to the whole point of that mer deck is to basically ha get an end goal of infinite one one mer tokens, mana echoes plus mer foundry. And the other one is Scoot Mobs, or S-C-U-T-E, -S -T -E. we, picked, we picked it because it sounds like it's my name, but a Scoot Mob deck, 60 card Scoot Mob deck, where it's all about making sure I get five land in play as soon as possible, and then playing the Scoot Mobs, which are one one for one green, but every upkeep, if I have five more land, they each get plus four, plus four. So it's all about rushing out land, playing one of those Scoot Mobs, and then just protecting them until they become 1919s or 2323s and just start swinging. <laughs> anyway, that aside. Hold on. Stop. Stop moving. I have to restart.
but uh, what is it? My friend's got my friend's got has a uh, he he does a sixty card he does a sixty card and an EDH deck that revolve around uh, Omnoth. It's a it's a it's just a it's just a pure green deck. But Omnoth is basically for every uh, what is it for every forest you tap for every forest or for every forest mana you've tapped. Omnoth gets plus one, plus one, and you don't mana leak at the end of your turn. You got it. So his deck is basically get as much green, green, uh, green land out in play as possible, and just make sure they're tapped at the end of every turn. <sighs> I gotta start over. Cause I have to hit every box. But yeah. I think that's probably why I know of Saprolings because of his Omnoth deck. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop drinking the smoothie. I'm wasting smoothies. Hang on. Well, yeah, that's the that's the cool that's the fun thing about magic. It's like, I don't know if it's changed in the last eight or so years, but that's the cool thing about magic is minus, to my knowledge, two cards, Black Lotus, and specifically for my Una EDH deck, Painter Servant, minus like five cards out of the 5,000 probably in its library, only like five of the cards in the game are banned. Any other card game? Well, the new rotations come around. We're banning everything. Also, we have not figured out how to do a draw mechanic properly since this game's inception, so Pulse of Greed shall remain banned forever. <laughs> But yeah, um, to that end. But to that end, I will say, you know, you know, Pot of Greed being banned. And how do they fix it? Simple. Very simple. Holy cow, it's simple, Konami. You know how you ban, you know how you fix Pot of Greed? Put it in the game, but add text to the bottom of the card that says, you may only play one Pot of Greed card per turn. Problem solved. Pretty sure most people know, but to those of you that are like, but that's impossible. There's no way you can implement a rule that says you can play X amount of one specific card. Yes, there is. Pokemon did it. You may only play one supporter card per turn. You did it. And how does that work? Flawlessly.
Okay. Sorry, mid jog. I'll read that in a second. Got it. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by, Rockhawk, and have a good game of MTG after the dogs have been taken care of. doing the Laffy Taffy. That reading doesn't seem accurate, but okay. You can both be coach. Don't worry about it, Bubby. You can both be the coach. Stereotypical Jewish mother accent. Okay, I was about to show off something, but I think I'll show. I'll think I'll. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna flex, quote unquote flex, on anything I've gotten in the mail. Simple. I'm not gonna flex on anything I've acquired in the mail just because I, I put myself on a time limit tonight. There, and then squeeze. There, I'm shaping the clay. Can I be done now? I hate this game anyway. I hate this game mode anyway. That is nowhere close in the center, but we're going to run with it. Is that enough? Uh, A rank. I hate. Ready? Go! Alright. Oddly enough, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Game agrees. <sighs> I hate Squadry Wheel. The only game mode I hate more than Squadry Wheel is Bat Back. Ooh, a Persimmon. What'll it be used for? Nothing. There. The paths of convert. Oh, that's double experience. <sighs> well, I don't have an experience booster. I have. I have energy. I don't know what, where I got all this energy, but I have energy. Probably because of the fact that I'm exercising not so close to my bedtime. Yeah, it's probably because I'm exercising not uh, not so close to my bedtime. And while well, I still have some of the leftover adrenaline burning from a work shift, so. Right, legs wide. I'm like standing here almost perfectly tucked okay, my heels together. Okay, let's move. Keep your hips thrust out.
Okay. Couldn't see what I was doing, but I got it. <laughs> I could do some Russian twists to finish this out, but let's do some of these. I think I got enough power to push through on this. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, a little pendulum bends. I don't know if it's the uh, five-ish minutes of running I did beforehand. Or if the pendulum bends, like doing that many of them in a row, got me going, but no, I can, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. Feeling it, sweating it. Oh, right, that's what I was going to do. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I have to set a reminder for myself to look into something as well while I get, uh, basically while I'm getting dinner ready tonight. So, okay. nothing, nothing we have to, me and you have to worry about right this minute. Excellent. But Amazing. I'm basically, nice. what was it? Nice. My place of work, my place of work just off, just started off uh, letting us use uh, radios and whatnot at work, even those that have Bluetooth functionality. And I have a semi-throwaway Bluetooth radio system speaker system, whatever you want to call it, and I want to go look at it and see if A, if it's easy to assemble, and if it is easy to assemble, or if it's all one piece rather, if I can actually take it into work with me. Because I've got a Bluetooth speaker right here to my right, but that runs out of battery about halfway through the day, and I'd rather have something that plugs in. And apparently, while that Bluetooth speaker is plugged in, it doesn't charge, so... Your this Bluetooth so speaker right here, which is the same hue of blue as my shirt. You know, funny thing. No one ever believes me when I tell them I got. No one ever believes me when I tell them I got this speaker for twenty bucks. No one ever believes me. Much like they never believe me, I got a PS TV for twenty bucks. Oh, good. Oh, I'm a die. Thank you forever. Or should I say it the exact same way? Or should I say it the same way she does? Oh, I'm a die. Thank you forever. Which... This is a minor call post to myself, and I'm going to do it. I stall before I do mountain climbers always. I will say, I salute Doggo for attempting to learn English, because I'm attempting to learn Japanese, and there is a huge disconnect in learning, in learning one language when you know the other. There's a huge disconnect. Even in the way I talk, there's a huge disconnect. Speaking how I am now, if I were to translate the words I'm saying in the form of saying them to Japanese, it would sound a lot more formal and would not be this like half street thing I'm doing right now. Much like when you translate things from Japanese to English, it sounds like they're being really posh or really, really uh, professional with their language because, they're, because, they're, because their language is meant to be nice and professional the English language has been bastardized. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. I could be horribly wrong. Move super energetically. Left, right, 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 left. This will focus on working. Left, right, left, right, left, right, 
I did, I did 40. 20 more. Well, right. almost 40. Left. That wasn't too bad. That was not a bad set. <sighs> All right, legs up. Cross your legs first. You know I do this. You know, I do this set in my own time. Stop again. Whew. So, a reminder to everybody. Hope you can hear me down here on the floor. But just a reminder, folks, that even though I have done a little working out on my own to get back into the swing of working out consistently again after a month and a half hiatus from doing it mainly due to medical issues. That it's gonna take me a bit to get back into this. And then I'm gonna to have to stop a little more often than I need to. Which is why I am taking so long to get certain things done. Especially with sets that are like, hey, stamina only? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Normally I'm struggling to get to this point. How am I, how am I 20 minutes in, but already halfway to my goal, my calorie burn goal? Wow. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, as you say, could be the uh, protein, the protein explosion I'm feeding. I fed myself before this, which was a peanut butter and wheat bread sandwich. <sighs> peanut butter, no matter if it's like. Uh, pre-made so to say pre-made peanut butter or organic regardless of which kind of peanut butter you have it is still horribly loaded with oils that are not the best for you if you're not working out to counteract the oils the peanuts themselves they got a lot of protein in them. but fortunately peanuts and a lot of nuts naturally have oil in them which is why we have things like peanut oil uh, I think canola is a nut. Canola oil. Pretty sure we're, we're looking at uh, trying to make uh, almond oil because we already have al almond butter. Is avocado considered a nut or is it considered a vegetable? Because avocado, I've been seeing avocado oil popping up a lot lately. And now. Deep diving into the inner annals of my brain. 
I'm remembering before I stopped watching it, I'm remembering Sonic for Hire. Where they had that bastardized creature thing whose only words were Avocado! <sighs> okay. Loosen up, pop my neck. Got my wings back underneath me. Let's see if I can keep that keep it that way. Must not yield. Left, right. Nice move. <sighs> no, not for a second. Hold on. I made it through that, but now I must yield for a minute while I adjust. Let me go over here and adjust. And what I mean by adjust, fellas in the audience know what I mean by adjust. Ladies, you might uh, have an inkling, and your inkling is probably correct. Let's leave it at that. Also catch my uh, breath again because I've already said it once but damn to be if I not mention it again this is the first time I've done a ring fit stream for you guys in at least a month and a half I am very out of shape I have been working out on my own time but that can only do so much Anyway. There we go. Now, hit him with the rolling start. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is actually kind of a... Whew. This is kind of a wind down in comparison to what we've done so far. Okay, set that down again. Huh. Can I peep? I want to peep. How is it that that math doesn't check out my head? 
How did I get almost 200 calories in 19 minutes? But in two minutes, I got 10. Well, 20, sorry. It's like 10 calories a minute. Actually, no, it's been like 10 calories a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> Yes, the brain juice are flow. Actually, my brain juice are flowing pretty fast because I'm exercising. Sorry, don't mind me. Just doing things I shouldn't be doing at other points in my day and deciding to do it now. <sighs> All right. Huh. Whew. <sighs> Taking breaks between reps helps it helps build you up instead of forcing it and going fat instead of forcing it to go faster and faster building up reps is a good call or rather putting in pause points so you don't overexert yourself and spend double the time recovering that being said I'm not going to do the knee lift combo and it's going to leave me utterly decimated. Watch and, wa watch and listen. Move super energetically. Duck. Left, right, lower down, raise up, 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 left, right, lower down. I'm not going right now though. Right. Chill out, King. I'm a spell there. We take those. We also take a breather. I wish I could test my heart rate right now, because I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of beating out of my chest at the moment. But I will say, on the topic of foods, after this is done, I'm gonna, or after we're done here tonight, I'm gonna clean up, which by the way, the time to end is roughly 7.40 my time. But yeah, once we're done here tonight, I'm gonna clean up, have some Berg for dinner, you know, some Burke Hearse, very lean meat Burke Hearse. And call it a night shortly after that. Whew.
you know, I feel bad for myself. I feel bad for myself because again, first time, I'm going to say seven weeks. First time in seven weeks, probably under, under, under shooting a little bit, that I've done any ex, uh, extreme workouts like I have just now. The fact I made it through it without dead stopping for 10 minutes, yeah, per, well, between sets rather. The fact that I didn't stop, dead stop for a 10 minute break at any point during this stamina set means that I've at least been taking care of myself health wise despite me not working out. But I wanna shed some of that, like I said earlier, I wanna shed some of that I'm in medical, I'm in medical distress weight that I gained and possibly get the the muscle tone I had back before that all went down. Because granted, all my clothes still fit me. All my clothes still fit me, but it's starting to become kind of questionable on one or two items. And that's never a good thing. That, before I went into medical distress, we'll say, underneath the uh, loose skin of my stomach, I definitely had a six pack going on. But you don't use something for 10 plus days, it fades. So the six pack I had is gone. The uh, keg barrel has returned. Well, it's more like a gallon of milk right now. <laughs> keg barrel is what I had back in 2018. You know, back when I was 360, 360 pounds. Who are they? I got some monies. Nah, I'm gonna keep going. So for anybody that's trying to keep track of things at home, time-wise, I know I keep coming back to this and it's not a good idea to keep coming back to the same thing. Oh, we'll do that mini game in a minute. We'll do a stage first. It's not a good idea to keep track of your time, but for anybody keeping track of time, I've got an hour and four minutes or 38 in-game minutes. I guess while I continue to cool down a little bit, let's make a let's make some more of these. Are you ready? Oh no, that's not gonna be okay. Squeeze. I know this one of my little. Uh, I noticed one of my little creatures from my advent calendar thing I've been doing on Twitter fell off. Finished. So I'm just gonna pick it up and put it back so it can't fall off anymore. Put Mr. Clute Struth back. And enough waiting about. Now let's go into stage now that we can do stuff. Okay, before we take any steps, zero steps in, this. Considering I don't have to break any boxes to pass the stage now, let's get double materials. So something I've mentioned on the buy, by the way. Just pull. I'm just trying to pull topics out of my hat, so to say. 
but I've been going on and on about it on Twitter. But I made the call and the commitment that I am going to go to MAGFest this year. Like I, at this point, I have booked my flight and my hotel room is taken care of. So I am going to MAGFest regardless of what other deities may have in store for me or not. Let's do something a little easy. Continue the cooldown period. Okay, let's go. You can so, if anybody watching this, lurking, or the VOD later on, I am planning to be at MegFest, Super MegFest, 2022. Very nice. Amazing. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Planning to be at MAGFest 2022 this coming up here. Which, if you're trying to go, good luck. Because it's a month away from, from the time of this uh, uh, this stream. But if you're if you're deciding whether to go or not now, and me going was a tilting point or a tipping point for you and going, well, I'll see you there. <laughs> If you've already been playing going, I'll see you there. And if you ha aren't going, well, awesome. I'm planning on vlogging the whole experience like normal. Excellent. So, Excellent. I'll Great. have a vlog for you to look, watch. Okay. Wonderful. Which would be interesting for me because right. it'll be kind of interesting yeah. for everybody. Because I think this winter, it's kind of when everybody's been feeling like, okay, it's safe, it's safe or safer to take. It's definitely safer to take trips now, especially across country. But it's still kind of a little bit of a gray area on taking these trips, like taking a trip to. Just because of friends I've mentioned they want to do it. No need to rush though. <sighs> but taking a trip to someplace overseas, such as Japan or Germany or something like that, that's currently out of the question because borders are locked down. And heck, borders are even further locked down by the fact that I've been reading I've been I read the news at work. But some dummy in Michigan who knew they were sick decided, eh, I'm gonna go take a trip to New York while I'm definitely sick with symptoms of COVID. In the words of the immortal Bubsy, what could possibly go wrong? Answer everything. Okay, let's move. I understand the desire to get out of the court. To nice. go places other than your work and your home. Because that's half the reason I'm playing this trip. Neat. But Amazing. if you've got symptoms, if Good you have job. symptoms Perfect. of a pandemic illness, you know, Amazing. to hell with the fact that it's a pandemic. If you're planning going a trip on a trip with an illness, I kind I kindly request you don't. Because your selfish act right. is gonna keep the rest of us locked up for the foreseeable future. Okay. Fantastic. We're literally gonna have a South Park post-COVID episode on our hands by the time we can all actually go outside of our houses comfortably. Okay. Nice. Fine work. Fantastic. Everybody
everybody's going to be 30 years older. Than when this all started. And we're all going to be wondering. We're going to be going, man. Why haven't we been able to travel? Amazing. And then another screen of the COVID will come along. And put us into a mass disarray. Done dancing around the subject. It's been a year and a half. It's been a year and a half, folks. If the word COVID or coronavirus throws you into a panic, you're probably the reason why we're stuck in this mess. Great move. Because you're probably one of the people that was like, huh, this pandemic is starting. And the way to stop it from spreading is to not go outside. I'm gonna go outside. No, I'm not happy. Cause the fact of being a nerd aside naturally keep me indoors. I'm not I'm not exactly enthralled by the fact. I'm, I'm fucking these up. I'm not exactly enthralled by the fact. That the year. I The year that I was the most in shape of my life. Got. poo pooed all over. Because. Some people couldn't stand the fact of staying inside for more than a week at a time. Now, the half year after the fact that I could have drank in the fact that I was in shape for the first time in my life I can actually show that off. Kinda of got thrown in the poop. <sighs> okay. Little squats took a lot of howdy. One minute. and whining while doing squats does a number on you. I'm not sp 
I'm gonna say, I'm not sponsoring anything, but I think I've hit official influencer levels of the things I buy. I never messed around with G Fuel stuff before today, or rather before this month. But my constant lack of energy while trying to get myself back to square one on my stamina has left me whew, has left me uh, craving energy drinks and energy boosters. So it do be G Fuel time. G Fuel? Watch where you're going, G Fuel. That was terrible. Also, I'm peaking. Oh wow, almost 300. Hell, we uh. Twist. Might not even need to go the full set today. And I'm not saying I might not have to go the full set today because I'm running tired. That was the part of it. But it's because usually by the end of my normal sets, this number is somewhere between 340 and 400. Meaning, if I wanted to play bare minimums, if I burn another 70 calories, I can stop. I won't. I won't. We just know the opportunity is there. Also, I am sweating a lot. More than I normally am. Which... I know the last... Before I went on hiatus, the last two or three streams, before I disappeared from the internet, streaming-wise, and most definitely ring fit wise. Those last two streams, I barely had any sign of sweat on me. Now, I'm back to, now I can tell by looking down, I'm definitely back to my pre used to workout physique where this trail of sweat is the start of it. This entire shirt should be, will probably be soaked by the time it's time up. Anyway. Let's do this. Oh, come on, go. I like how I went on a 10 minute rant, by the way. My apologies for hitting too hard on that subject, but I'm just mad. We're coming up on nearly two years. Oh, my left leg's shaking. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch sides. We're coming up on nearly two years since that disease hit. And even someone like me, 
who is highly, highly introverted, likes my alone time and quiet time, was currently yelling because he's tired of seeing the same four walls, or rather eight walls, plus car interior. Regardless of that, point stands. Really tired of staring up those same four walls for the last four years. Or not four years, two years. And a change of scenery, not in my state, would help. Okay, good, I'm not bleeding. I know I've talked about it in stream before, but anybody who hasn't seen that, I have seasonal eczema. And if you don't know what eczema is, it's having the overbearing need to scratch at something that's not there because your body is going, oh God, you need to scratch this. By the way, it's literally in your bones. That's how deep it feels. And you can't fight this, and, you, and it's hard to fight that urge to scratch. For me, I say it's seasonal because this urge does not hit until between now and it stops early February. So, very late November through early February, I scratch myself to an unhealthy degree and I can't help it. Because my body says the dead skin skeleton you gotta get off your skin, it's in your muscles. It's not on top of the skin. That's what it feels like. Probably painting too vivid a picture, but probably need to explain myself why I'm itching as much as I am at this point. I do have medication to help with it. But putting it on now is just going to have it run off or ha run off my body due to the sweat before it can do any good. It definitely doesn't help that I have the kind of personality where I have to pick an itch at everything out of nervous habit. So my nervous ha my nervous trigger will say of public speaking ironic considering I'm st I'm streaming right and recording stuff for YouTube, right? My my anxious my anxiety trigger of public speaking and talking with people causes me to itch and pick at things uncontrollably. Ouch. My back hurts. Again. Yes, I keep checking, I'm well aware. I'm, oh, I'm almost there. Like I'm already almost there to my goal. Like, I've already almost offset my lunch from earlier today. Is how many calories I've burned so far. <sighs> it's also not helping that the Advil I took earlier to quell a headache I knew was coming, that Advil is starting to wear off now too. So, 
I feel like I'm overexerting myself. And I've got a headache coming back. But no pain, no gain. Or in this or in this case, reversal gains. The uh, dream that is to reshape my body back to what it was about three months ago. And you guys being here, jumping in, or dropping in randomly, watching, lurking, whatever you're doing, doesn't matter. It helps keep me going. There will come a point when I'm going to be far too gone to even, uh, you know, whew, I'm going to be too far gone to even do that. At some point, you got to know your limits. But if the last three years has taught me anything, break the limits. Break your limits. Go be above and beyond. Smash those excuses. Crush them. Reduce them to atoms. Thanos them. Of course, I still have your excuses left, but uh, tomatoes are mine. to running my arms are sore I may have picked the incorrect exercise Very nice. okay. Great. Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I know it's my character's hair but from where I'm standing like his sideburns look like he's got airpods in when the hair starts flowing that is We're done. We're done. We're not hitting level 300 today. Be good, get close. Hold on. I'm checking something really quick. Okay. Um, a little lightheaded. Give me a minute. I like how I stopped for me to just check up on something, and they got incredibly lightheaded. Cooling down, 
We'll talk face to face for half a minute while I talk about, uh, behind the microphone. Okay, I need to stop progressing. Whew. Definitely need to stop procrastinating. Oh, I've got an hour. I've got a little over an hour. So I'm not procrastinating that bad, but still. I'm definitely hitting that moment of petering out. I also would like to drink more water, but if I drink more water, I'm gonna, I'll make it worse for myself. Okay, this is a this be a nice little wind down, so to say. And now I know this track as well as I do, because this used to be part of my daily this uh course used to be part of my daily running set and then i decided instead of going for a half hour run let me go for an hour and a half long uphill jog on the elliptical so to say Which, 
Yeah. The hour and a half long jog. The hour and a half long jog takes a lot more time. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the longer I spend working out at a more consistent pace, the better I feel. Instead of this burst stop, burst stop, burst stop that I'm doing right now. Whew, that. I think that was a new high score. <laughs> Continue for now. See what my numbers look like. After I take a drink. Big drink. Oh, those be a nice, refreshing bit. Robo Wrecker with some garnets. And I don't know how the melody goes for stronger than you. <laughs> oh. Rotation. Rotatos fritas. Pop. Beep. Ready? Go! Come on and hit me if you stay able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? Come on, hit that. I'm trying to hit things in order in which they appear. Now it's gonna go into frenzy mode. Fusion frenzy. <sighs> oh wow! I beat my old record. care about the bonus enough. Uh, I like that one, but I'm not good at it. My reaction time is terrible. Oh, really? So I just can't go beyond it if I don't finish it? Okay, cool. Well, here's the problem. I can finish it. I don't care about that much. <laughs> I don't care about it enough, unfortunately. Especially when I'm not as wiped out as I am. Technically, technically, I could call it quits after this. We'll have to see what I'm sitting at. I may go. I may dial myself back to my original time frame of two hours on uh, two hours on stream instead of two and a half. But we'll see how I feel after this. Also, after I finish cooling down. Okay, before step one's even taken. Shh, moving. I like this movie, shmovie. I like this movie, shmovie. Maurice, help. I cannot move it, move it anymore. You did it! Okay, cool talk. Uh, stop doing your own thing, Ring. Put down there. You got it.
you know, I was just about to say, where are the enemies? Let's do something a little simple for now. Oh yeah. Yeah, considering how out of breath I am and how much of a headache I'm currently trying to rack up, I might call it after this stage. It's nowhere close to either time frame I gave in the tweet, but Gotta know your limits. Wonderful. Okay. Great. Sharp. And well I've definitely I've work. definitely hit my limit for tonight. You've even gone beyond it. Very and I'm gonna exactly. be sore as heck come the morning. With a killer Good headache to boot. But I did a proper, awesome. strong Good workout job. today. Fantastic. Okay. Perfect. All right. Nice. Complete with running, squats, mountain Good climbers, Amazing. Great. leg Perfect. lifts, the whole kick caboodle. All aspects of my body worked out today. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Nicely done. Ooh, great. Let's get the pace. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine work. Great. Like I said, no I'm going to be though. sore come the morning. Because again, again, this is my first proper workout. My first full and proper workout since September. Or I guess more extreme workout is what I have been saying. So I should keep it the same. something I can do to make my shelving a little more stable. And it also gives me room to put something else on my shelving. Yes, I'm stalling. Well aware that I'm stalling. You're short enough. Yes, you are. Sorry, welcome to Procrastination Stealth or Shelf Organization. <laughs> Procrastination makes you do things at the wrong in this time. Oh. Ooh. Give it a second.
Okay. Huh. Well done. <sighs> Again, most nights when I do this, most nights when I stream Ring Fit, I do go as hard as I can. But I also do give myself the benefit to stop when I need to and take breaks when I need to because for those of you that are first time viewers of this stuff, I've also worked a nine to five job, a physical labor nine to five job where picking up or picking up 30 to 50 pound boxes, sometimes even more than that is not uncommon. Hell, I want to say mostly with leg strength, but there was a roll of plastic I picked up yesterday. You know, just enough to slide it over a little bit, but it was still 120 pounds of plastic on a roll that I picked up. I typically don't sit around, slump, and slouch all day at work. Where most people in my job will go, oh, well that weighs 30 pounds, I'm gonna go get a forklift. I just go, or oh, you can come with us right now. Scoop and go. <laughs> Same on both sides. I feel like that's a bit of a miscoloring. Sorry. Picking up something on my shelf. Notice a weird coloring thing on a box. Oops. I'm so focused on the normal pickups during a normal, what was my normal running repetition that I forgot to get the, it the item sitting right there. Let's do the bull pull second. Anything other than sitting is uh, stressing me right now. Also, ow, my head. things happening so now it's on my legs
<sighs> Sorry, definitely focusing on not dying at the minute. Which it has been a long time since I've had that feeling in Ring Fit. Stupid eczema. <sighs> you should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Good, everyone's attacking. Make me feel about better about the fact that I'm very low in, in energy at the moment. recover in due time, but mentally, ugh. mentally, I definitely just want to go to my bed, which is behind this wall here and die. I want, I want to go commit die. I like how about two hours ago, my mentality was, yeah. I'll do this stream tonight, and then I'll clean up, and I'll have dinner, and then I'll pro and then I'll see if I can't go record something too. And currently, two hours after that statement, I'm currently just like, want to go commit not living. Okay, let's move. Be careful not to lower your elbow. Want to go see all the dogs that have, that have been sent to upstate Nebraska. Grandma and Grandpa. That farm must be nice. Everybody seems to go there. But they never seem to come back. Why is that? my lower body well I'm gonna say lower body and say that's code word but even my lower extremities will say are currently yelling at me please stop I'm about to do something that will make you stop if you don't stop so yeah my uh, my lower organs have decided it's time to be done which 
I know I'm speaking in code word when I'm talking about this. But I will put forth that it really do be like that. Having Chinese definitely puts your bot definitely puts your body on hold for a day or two. And then your body is forced to expel it at high velocity. That being said, if you're gonna have Chinese, make sure you're trying to get something that's gonna go through you quick. That's all that's where I'm gonna leave that topic of conversation. I definitely had stir fry and it's definitely kept me in hold the last few days go away matter ray thank you the matter ray's gone that's all i cared about in this set Definitely getting rid of the rest of the red enemies with this, with these reps. Wonderful. Not so sure about the uh, the kennel bell on the right or the berserk robot, but the two on the left, they're gone. They're going to be gone after this. Going, going, gone. And it's gone, 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 gone. Everything gone. Give a damn. Gone be the birds when they don't want to sing. Gone people. Amazing. Everything is just gone. Perfect. ever get the opportunity to do a bonus stream or the ability to do a stream on these nights just on my own free will considering a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, we'll say hollow live a lot of the hollow live members can get away with streaming a karaoke and then just deleting the, the video or deleting the, the stream immediately after it ends maybe I should follow suit <laughs> Just stream a do a karaoke stream live, but then delete the stream immediately after it go it's yes. done. Yes. Excellent. Well, Very nice. download it for myself and then delete it. Great move. Actually, in that case, I should just record it while I'm streaming it, shouldn't I? poop I had in me. I don't even get a reward for finishing that either. But that's all I've got in me. I don't got any more. I can't give any more. I've hit the bottom of the barrel. Which is fine, because a reminder that that nearly 370 calories burned, that's my average every time I do a stream. So I may have just achieved getting my normal repetitions in 
in, ha in about three, three quarters of the time. We speed run it today. Uh, I want to take a picture of this. Because if I go to, because if I work tomorrow, everybody asks, hey, why are you walking so weird? I can tell, I can just pull this, I can post this on Twitter and then pull it off my phone and go, I did this last night after work. I had a major workout. Okay, let's stretch. Let's begin our static stretch. Let me stretch so I can get it all, the rest of everything out of my system. Of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Use your right hand to pull back the fingers of your left hand. Have the chair here in case I have to go for While arching back a leg lift wrist, stretch. Stretch your left arm forward. God, I hope so. Because I have been sleeping for beans the last now few days. The same on the opposite side. Or rather the last few weeks. Take care not to bend the elbow of the arm you're extending. Bring yourself back slowly. Raise both arms and pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms anyway, by pulling your elbows downward. While I do these stretches, did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask before the end of the stream tonight? I know I'm ending quite early in comparison now to most nights, on the opposite side. but I also started really early, and Be after looking at numbers, I hit my goal. Because like I said, I normally hit 360 or so, normally during these ring fits, and it takes me an hour in game. Join and 44 minutes is all it took to reach the goal today. Out. Stretch out your back. <sighs> Bring yourself back slowly. Uh, as for Saturday. And put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee. And as for Saturday. I'm going to try my best to have all my extra busy work done, not counting editing, but I'm going to try and have all my extra busy work done before before Saturday night, and I would like to play Tales of Arise. I've actually been trying to pull myself into playing Tales of Arise this entire week, at least once, but I just haven't been able to get the gusto. Widen your stance. Place your hands uh, on your knees. We're not gonna do that. Drop one. your hips. Rotate your left shoulder inward and extend your. I'm gonna hurt myself doing that stretch. Anyway, with this all done, you can also see some of the last few things I played. I, take, I haven't played Mario and Rabbids. I had to look up my playtime for that game for somebody. Because somebody asked, Oh, how much playtime you, can you get out of Mario plus Rabbids? The answer is, if going for 100%. Uh, the answer is, if you're going for 100%, about 50 hours. 60 if you do the, the Donkey Kong DLC. Anyway. Well, I don't see any questions. So I think I'm gonna find us some somebody to raid for the evening after I finish putting my uh, uh, ring fit accessories away. And kill this light. I should leave that light on, but whatever. So. Hello, hi, it's me. Your veritable workout host for the evening. Let's see who we can find a raid this evening. Uh, you know, it's just, I was just talking about Odin. You know what? I think I'm going to raid Odin tonight.
He's playing Final Fantasy VI. Oh, yeah. We're going to raid Odin tonight. So, everyone give Odin some love tonight, considering I was just talking about him doing his Ring Fit uh, Let's Play. So give him some love, some uh, some hugs, some big if you are, are if you are uh, subscribed to him. And I'll see you guys on Saturday for some Tales of Arise. Thanks for stopping by tonight, everybody, and have a great evening. Take care.